is the Tam and Dylan Love here, and welcome to another episode of the 2020 NFL Series Predictions. Last time we did Week 5, today we're going to be doing Week 6, but a quick recap of Week 5. It was very interesting for predictions because I went 10-4, and 4, so 10 correct, 4 incorrect. I actually got all the AFC-NFC games right, including the Dolphins' upset of the Niners. Didn't expect it to be by that much. Chicago did win, so... I did get that one incorrect. All these other teams won. Uh, prayers up for Dak Prescott. Hope he gets better. Seattle had a great comeback. In terms of AFC, um, the Raiders upset the Chiefs. I did not see that coming. Um, and then the Titans had a really nice one against the Bills. And the Browns also beat the Colts in kind of a messy game. So, got um, some incorrect this week. But overall, it was a really fun week as we go into week six, which I think is going to be a very interesting week of the NFL. We have no Thursday night football, um, and we have two Monday night games. So let's start out here with the AFC games. We have a rookie vet game with Joe Burrow and the Bengals versus Philip Rivers and the Colts. Um, I know the Colts are messy, but I like their coaching staff a lot. They have a great defensive line with DeForest Buckner that I think will put a lot of pressure on Joe Burrow and the Bengals. I see this being a very low-scoring game um, when the Colts win like 20-10 to 10 or something like that. So I'm picking Indy. Cam Newton is set to play. I'm glad he is healthy and off the COVID list. Um, I think Stephon Gilmore is too. Um, but I think this is going to be a huge Patriots win against the Broncos. These two, these two teams have had some... Big games against each other. Um, I think Drew Locke is returning for Denver. Even if he isn't, I'm still picking the Patriots. If Locke returns, I think it'll be fun. Both him and Cam have good deep balls, and I think it'll be fun, but I got the Patriots by at least two scores. I could see this Browns-Steelers game going out of way. It's a, it's a division game. But I'm going with Pittsburgh. Um, I just think that Baker Mayfield, he's a good quarterback, but he, may, he has a lot of turnovers. And I just think that this Steelers defense. I know they struggled against the Eagles, but I think that they can come back and have a really nice game and win. Um, I'm going with the Titans. It's kind of like the Chiefs. I'm going to pick them until they lose. Could be to Deshaun Watson in Houston. Uh, I think it'll be close, but the Titans win. I've been very impressed with Ryan Tannehill this season. I think that they have a defense to shut down the Bills. They or the Texans. They shut down the Bills. Jets, Dolphins. Dolphins, I think here are going to get the third win of the season, I believe. I think this will be three against the Jets. I just don't know what's going on with New York, and Miami's played pretty well um, at times during the season. They had a pretty nice game against the Niners. I think that the Dolphins, on a bit of a side note here, are a very talented roster for good coaching staff. Um, and on the Man to Man Coach po podcast I do with my good friend Ben, a lot of, you know, he thinks that. The Dolphins could be a sleeper wild card team, maybe. Uh, but two teams that are probably going to make the playoffs is the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills on Monday night. This is, I think, going to be really fun. Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, two players with just excellent deep balls, deep arms that can make so much happen. Part of me wants to go with Buffalo because I think what will happen is I think it will be close. I think the Chiefs might take the lead early, but I think the Bills will come back, take the lead, and I think Mahomes will have one of his classic comebacks. Um, I think both teams lost. Chiefs was closer, Bills wasn't. So both teams, I think, are going to be playing with kind of that edge um, and momentum going into this game of, hey, we, we need to get back on track. I wouldn't be surprised. I almost want to go Buffalo. But I'm going to go with the Chiefs. You know, oh, come back at home. But looking at the stuff, I think that the Chiefs are going to win. All right, everyone, we have the Tan Man Bowl, the Baltimore Ravens against the Philadelphia Eagles. Ravens Eagles. Every four years we get this game. I am super excited. Now at the beginning of the season, I actually have the Eagles winning. You know, good defense with Darius Slay, um, Will Parks, Kayvon Walsh, Jatavis Brown. The offense had Marquise Goodwin, Alshon Jeffrey, Deshaun Jackson, Miles Sanders. A great offensive line. But since then, a lot of those players have opted out or have been injured. And I think that the Baltimore Ravens are going to end up winning this game. I think that the Eagles' defensive line will force some pressure on Lamar and force him to make some passes on the run. And I think he might have some misses like that. But for me, this linebacking core is... They've been fine against the run, actually, for the Eagles' defense. But I can, you know, with Lamar in this offense, I can just see them getting a ton of yards. I think defensively, Marcus Peters, 
Marlon Humphrey, Charles Fulgham, I think, will have a, quite a game, like four catches for maybe 40 yards, and a score. If I had to predict, uh, the Eagles get 13, the Ravens 30. Um, I hope it's close, I hope it's fun, but I just think the Baltimore Ravens will beat the Philadelphia Eagles in the Tamman Bowl. I'm very excited. Um, Lions, Jaguars here, Lions, both of these teams I think could win about seven, six games. I just, Matt Stafford, I just trust more than Gardner Minshew. Could be fun and close, battle of the big cats there. Um, kind of coin flip here for Washington and New York. I'm going to go with New York, they've been closer in games, and they almost beat Dallas, they almost beat the Rams. I was low on the Giants, but I think they get their first win here. Bears, Panthers, I think this is close. I was asking some of my friends in my fantasy football group chat, who I think is going to win. My good friend Ben said the Panthers. He doesn't trust the Bears. I think this is close. I think I'm going to go with the Panthers. Um, a lot of the Chicago Bears offensive players are very physical, like Allen Robinson, Darren Mooney. I think the Panthers defense can match up with that. If the Bears win, it wouldn't surprise me, but I'm going with the Panthers. Falcons, Vikings, I'm going to go with Atlanta to get their first win. I think just the new coach, I forgot his name, Raheem something. I watched the press conference, and I really like the way he talks about the game. And I think against the Vikings defense that has struggled. Like, both teams here have bad defenses. Both have exciting offensive playmakers who are young. I just think with Dalvin Cook out, the Vikings can't control the ball. I do like Alexander Madison. Madison? He's a T or D, I don't know. But I think that the Falcons win this game. I think it'll be close in a sense. I think about high scoring, like 36-30, one of those, like, oh, edge of your seat games. I'm going Atlanta. Another big game here, Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady, I believe part three. Um, I believe they're one and one record-wise. Heard that on Skip and Shannon, I believe. So um, here's how I think this game will go. I think it'll be close in the beginning. I think Brady will have some nice plays. And I think Rodgers will as well. But then I think in the late third and early fourth quarter, this defensive front from Green Bay and the pass rushers, Zadarius Smith, Preston Smith, a linebacking corn pass rush that I think has been really good this season. And, you know, Tampa Bay struggled with the Bears. I know it's Cleo Mack, but I think they'll struggle. And then I think Aaron Rodgers is going to hit his element and win. I'll probably say Tampa Bay gets 24. The Packers end up 36 or 39. Maybe even the 40s. I, I think it will be one of those games that it was closer than the score um, actually is. Could I see Tom Brady winning and having a classic game of his? Sure. I hope it's a good game. I just have the Packers winning. Um, I'm going with the Rams here on Sunday Night Football. They just look really good. And Jimmy Garoppolo on the Niners. There's a lot of questions. Cardinals Cowboys. This is tough. Um, Andy Dalton is the quarterback. Prayers up for Dak. Um, he's very talented, though. He's a very... Uh, you could probably, I think he's the best backup quarterback. He has a good offense. What kind of... Uh, I think the Cowboys are going to win. I just think that... No, I'm going to go with the Cardinals. I'm going to go with the Cardinals. In both Monday night games, like, well, you know, the Bills and the Cowboys kind of have this energy. You know, playing for... You know, the team's playing for the quarterback who had a really bad injury. And, oh, Dalton's going to come into the clutch. I think that could happen, but scheme-wise, the Cardinals' offense is more effective. I think that Patrick Peterson could match up well, and Byron Murphy. Um, Buda Baker, I believe, is playing, so that'll help. I know Chandler Jones is out, but I still think the Cardinals win, just scheme-wise. I think they match up better Hopkins and crew against the corners of Dallas. I think it'll be fun, though, Cardinals-Cowboys. Um, real quick, let's go over fantasy. So that is my predictions there. Um, Dalvin Cook is out. I have not looked at this. Do I give... Hold on. Hold on. We're actually going to move. Okay, so we're going to have James Robinson start. And then we're actually going to flex Dalvin Cook out for Michael Gallup. I really like what he's doing here. I think that is where I'm going to go. He's been pretty nice. Rams defense. Big Ben. James Robinson. Should be interesting this week. Um, currently 2-3. and three. Um, And then in my other one, a lot of these Panthers players did well for me. Um, I might have to get another running back here. Oh, no, we, we, we put in James Robbins. Might put in T. Higgins. Well, Robbie Anderson is against a good defense. Justin Jefferson is against a bad defense. Johnny Smith, Ram, uh, Rams defense, Justin Tucker. So excited for that Ravens-Eagles game. I actually think I want to leave this here. Cam Newton's in. I actually want to go Cam against Denver. Cam against Denver. Okay, we'll do Cam there. Terry was good for me. He's a good player. Oh, Julio's healthy. We're going to put in 
Um, I like Mike Davis. He's getting good touches. But Julio against the Vikings defense. I'm going to start him. So those are my two fantasy lineups. Thank you all for watching this video. This has been Tam and Doing Love. I'll see you all next time. Take care and have a good day.